Okay, your Toka Touch Trainer has arrived. It's time to put together your Spiral Hopper. Let's go over the components of the Toka Spiral Hopper. You have three center tubes, one for each spiral, nine screws, six large screws, and three smaller screws, and three spirals. Okay, so to assemble each segment of the spiral hopper, you'll need one center tube, two large screws, one small screw, the Allen key, and of course, the spiral. You have two larger screws and one smaller screw. Now the positioning of these screws is very important. From top to bottom, we're gonna go large, large, small. So right here, large, large, and small always goes at the bottom of each segment. So now you have three completed hopper segments. You've got bottom, middle, and top with the rounded edge, okay? But you'll notice that each one is loose so that when we assemble it, we're able to adjust it, okay? Okay, so take your bottom segment, just one of the two segments that don't have a rounded edge, and place it right here on the top of the now as you see, because you haven't tightened the screws, you can adjust it like this, okay? And you want to make sure that it's right in line with the bottom of the touch trainer right here. Take your Allen key and just start tightening up while you hold that in place. So grab your second hopper piece, again, there's no rounded edge at the top here, and place it on, okay? Because you haven't screwed it in yet, it's gonna be adjustable, okay? Just like this, what we wanna do, we wanna make sure that line is nice and tight, and then grab your Allen key, and just nice and easy, just screw that in, so that it's nice and tight right there. Lastly, you've got your top segment, the rounded edge here, okay, just pops on, right there, as it did before, okay, it's nice and adjustable, because it's not screwed in yet, make sure that's nice and tight, screw it in. <laughs> 